Hi all, Paulette with Back to Basics Mom here. Hey, today I'm going to show you how I made this cool little gift card holder that also has a little treat um, in these little mini coffee cups, which are just adorable. And uh, the coffee cups are filled with some candy. You can do candy of your choice. I used Hershey Kisses. You can fit about 15 of them in there. So, and then you just stick it in this little holder, which is so much fun. And it's got a little pocket for your gift card. And uh, I do hold the, the little cup in there with uh, some... Um, foam tape and I'll show you how to do all that later and right now we are gonna get started I'm gonna show you how to make this so you need some 12 by 12 cardstock and I have all the dimensions written out for you I'm gonna show you uh, right here and I will also type these in the description underneath this video so um, it's pretty easy there's a, a bunch of scoring um, but it so that'll help you get all the, the folds right. And um, I, first a couple of times I did this, I used two different pieces of um, 12 by 12 cardstock and I cut them down, but I finally figured out how to get it out of one strip of cardstock. So you can also use a score pal or a score buddy if you have one. Uh, I personally am used to my Stampin' Up um, cutter, so that's what I use because it's got the little score doohickey on it um, but if you just you can see you lay it down it's 12 inches across and uh, sometimes it's easier for me to work upside down but for this project it wasn't and you can see I already pre-scored it but it was a little harder for me to read because there were so many scores on this but I'm just gonna basically show you how I did it and just list that one the two and an eighth five and an eighth Six and seven eighths, nine and seven eighths, and at eleven. So now this will give us a base and sides and a little bit at the top, um, and that will form our little holder. So I like this little holder because it just it, it gives the gift a little bit more substance, and then because um, you can't fit the gift card inside the cup um, without cutting a hole in the top so I like this because you can just add the little pocket to the side so and then uh, if the sides do bow out a little bit but it's all good then you have your little strip of paper and I cut that at two and three quarters by two and a half and then you score it on three sides at a quarter of an inch because you want little tabs to fold in now if you come up with an easier way to do this for yourself please feel free, go ahead, this is just how I did it and how it made sense to me in my mind. Um, but everybody's different, and so that's that's fine. So then I just kind of fold them all in. Now a little trick to this so things fold in nicely is you're gonna trim away the corners so those sides are gonna fold in really nicely. Now I will give you, um, my biggest tip when you put this on is use the absolute best um, tape, double-sided tape that you can find, that you have in your stash. Because um, some of the paper it sticks to better than others, especially if you have like glitter paper or something. Um, the glitter paper I used on some of mine, I had a terrible time with not sticking, and if I ever use that again, I think I'm actually going to use um, a liquid glue. Um, but this tape for, for these two plain card stocks worked, worked really well, so... Um, you can use what you have on hand. I, I did find that my ATG tape did not hold this quite well enough for this purpose, so that's why I really liked um, this score tape. But uh, you can, again, use whatever works for you. Some multi matte medium glue would work really, really well for holding this down nice and tight. Um, you know, kind of whatever you have on hand. So you just put that on the three sides. And then we're going to stick it down. So I made a bunch of these for the craft show that I did. Um, oh, it was right before, right after Thanksgiving. And um, I didn't sell a ton of these, uh, but um, some of the other things I'm going to show you in the next day or so, I did sell quite a bit of. Um, but these were very well received when I gave them as gifts because I also made some that were 
just plain birthday and I had some other um, non-Christmassy ones that I had made that I have given as gifts and they were very, very well received. So um, in the couple that I did sell at the craft fair, um, I was selling them with or without gift cards because I had gotten gift cards to the local coffee shop and had those on hand. So it was kind of a one-stop shop and the couple that I did sell, um, the people actually already had gift cards and were searching for a creative way to give their gift cards. So they were pretty um, excited to be just able to pop that right in this little holder and have an actual, because a lot of people that give gift cards want to actually give a gift um, along with the card. So this kind of um, accomplishes both of those goals. So I just stuck it on one of the sides there, kind of in the big spot on the side. I just kind of centered it up. And then you can just slide your gift card right in there. I like that it fits nice and snug as well. So um, you don't have to worry about it falling out too much. If you did want to make sure it didn't fall out, you could put like a little sticky dot um, on the back, you know, on there. So it, it's stuck down, so it'll hold it in a little bit better. Um, and I just, I don't like to tape these permanently. I just punch a couple of holes and tie it up with some string. And that way they can either reuse, you know, the person that gets it can reuse it, um, whatever. But it's easy to, I think it just makes a really pretty presentation and there's no need to glue it really. So you can use, you know, ribbon, string, twine, whatever you have, whatever you like. I really love this red, white, and green um, lawn fawn twine that I got. So I'm just going to put it in there, tie it up, make a little bow, and then I'll show you how we stick the cup down so it doesn't fall out and move around on you. These worked really good as I gave a couple of these to my son's um, teachers. I gave one of these to my daughter, her secret swimmer, um, for her swim team when they had their banquet. I had a couple of friends that had birthdays, um, so I had a couple of non-Christmas ones made up, and they just love them. So it's going to take a couple of layers of foam tape because there's a little um, ridge underneath the foam cup, so it's going to take a good three to four layers of the tape um, to fill that up high enough so it kind of holds on to it. So I'm kind of doing it like this so it makes three, but I think I need one more if I remember right to really make sure it grips well. Yeah. Three is okay, but four is better. Especially because this foam tape isn't really thick. I had some other stuff um, that's thicker. I could probably only do two or three, but this is kind of the standard, the regular stuff you get at Joann's, so... And then I just push up from the bottom to make sure that's nice and secure, centered, kind of squish it in there, and there you go. Now when I gave these, some people I just handed it to them, some people I put it in a little um, like paper lunch bag with their name on it and kind of stamped on it and decorated it. Uh, you can do it however you like, but there you go. Fun little gift card holder, you can decorate it up with some stamped sayings however you want but that's what worked for me and there you go that's our gift card holder for today thanks so much give me a thumbs up hit like below if you like this video and i'll see you another day bye bye